previously we created the column same column same column up to 7500 we just need to create the column for creating b now this column is ready now we need to create b to create the beam we need the grid elevation or plan view just go to view and go to the view list select 3 meter elevation double click here you will get it the view here at the same time you will get it view here also now we are going to create beam in between this two columns you can zoom like this and you can place it like this go to the steel tab under the steel tab you can see beam to if you click this flyout you can see lot of beams in this first one normal beam if you click here you will get it the beam properties and here it is the name and this is profile if you click here you will get it profile catalog this catalog depends on environment you will get it i used here middle east environment so i will get like this beam if you use different environment definitely you will get different types of beams now i just select here hca 200 and click okay then which material you want you can select using material catalog i select here a36 and this is finish finish means depends on your painting code fire proof painting or galvanize related information you can give here in finish class if you select the class the depends on the class you will get it the color change numbering series this is part number i just make it h because it is h section so i use h and assembly numbering this is beam so i just make it be and here series number just start number use 11 position i just place it like this and i will change and show you how to change this positions and i exactly click this point point is very important when you click this point you need to check your snap this much snaps up on or not if it is not on snap perfectly you never get you cannot place perfectly i just click this end point you can see if you go here you will get it end point and if you go this this point and this point you can see it will show mid point so like that all the snaps it will show so i just click here now the beam is placed if you select this beam you can see this yellow mark that is beam start point you can see this color it is beam end point you can see here also start end you can adjust using this one you can adjust this start and end if you need to start from little i just need to move little bit here this point you can make here start i just make it 500 enter now you can see your start point is here but b will start from this point i just make it minus 200 now you can see your start point is here but your beam will start from this point so like that you can adjust i just make it here zero enter similar way you can adjust end point also i just make it here 200 enter now you can see the start point is here but the beam finish after 
similar way i just make it minus 200 enter you can see it is minus 200 because this two this point is here but it is finished before 200 so from this point if you measure you will get it 200 gap here i just make it zero enter now i just go to this grid one for that go to view and go to the view list select this grid one just double click the grid one will open now you can see this beam we created elevation 3000 meter 3 meter means 3000 mm it is placed in top of steel exactly in this level this beam placed in top of steel now if you need to make this orientation you can change that one see here this is on plane on plane i will tell you later first come to this rotation see here it is in top now if i change this rotation to below then enter now this orientation is changed if you go to the top view it will show exactly now you can see this is flange and this is flange and here it is web if you go to the 3d view you can see very clearly see it is placed like this but now i select here top then enter now you can see it is changed to your flange it is changed to like this i just change to back see it is changed to like this so depends on this rotation your beam orientation will change but i need here top so i just place it like this similar way you can make changes in this degree also i just make it 45 and then if you made 45 degree it will rotate 45 degree like this and i just make it zero enter similar way you can give 90 degree also if you give a 90 degree exactly this point is placed depends on this point it will rotate this direction so the next one just make it this one top then enter just place it like this and here it is still it is not perfect so just make it control z now it is okay select this beam and this is depth now you can see this is top of steel our starting point end point it is in top because here it is in behind if i give a friend then enter now you can see the start end point is coming bottom of steel now i just change to here middle then enter now you can see the start and end point it is in middle so this is in depth depth wise if you want any changes we can adjust here now it's change here behind then enter now it is changed to top of steel i just make it here 200 then enter now you can see your start point end point is here but beam is here because from this point and the top of steel if you measure you will get into the value 200 if you given the value here zero it will come back to original position now i go to the top view for that control tab just click outside control tab and uh, now it is in top view and i select this beam see here this beam is showing like this if you press control one you can change visual style control two control three and control four if you change this control one two three you will get it visual style different so now you can see clearly this web and flange <coughs> now i select this beam and if you adjust this on plane on plane is middle that's why this web is middle i just change here right then enter now you can see the beam is changed this side i just change it to control 4 now you can see very clearly and 
I just go to the on plane, make it left, then enter, change to left. If I change to middle, then enter, it is changed to middle. So this is the way you can control positions. And end option also already you know. And similar way you can make here you can make curved beam. If you are making curved beam, you can use these options. Otherwise, just leave it. Here it is user defined attributes. User defined attributes already I told you when I told when I teach this column. Similar case here also in beam also we can use user defined attributes. We can make a lot of user defined attributes in this we can mark. Now we need to place this similar beam to other area also. So just go to the beam, steel, steel tab and go to the beam and I click this point exactly and like this exactly. Now I just click this point and I place like this. Again I just click this point. Carefully need to place. Just click this exactly this point and exactly need to place like this. So we placed this much column. We don't want to again and again we don't want to make the beam and columns. Just select this beam. Press control and you can select multiple beams and right click go to the copy tool and I click this endpoint and I click here and I click here. Similar way you can select this one press control you can select multiple beam right click go to the copy tool and I click this point and I click here and I click here. Now it is placed. Now I just go to control tab it will go to the next file See here beam is placed. You can just click like this and you can select all the this level views. Now I go to the next view and right click copy and I click this point and I click here and make it extra expand or don't expand anything you can do. I just make it expand. Now cancel and go to control tab you can see all two levels beams are placed. Now we placed beam. How to create beam you know. Now we are going to create poly beam. For that I just go to this level 3000 level. So this is 3000 elevation. Now I go to poly beam. Just go here select this poly beam and click the first point and I just place it this 2000 and I click here and I click here then press mouse center button now our poly beam is placed poly beam means this is the poly beam multiple points we placed before this beam start point and end point only but you can see here start point and we have lot of end points now I select this beam you can see all the corner having points see here this point you can double click this point you will get it corner chamfer option if you click here lot of options available I just select here rounding now I can give the radius I just make it here radius 1000 enter so here you can see good curved location you will get it like this similar way I select this corner also you can double click this one you will get it or if you click this one also you will get it because we switch on this property state so just click here go to rounding and I just make it here thousand enter and here it is ready now I just click this one close select this beam right click and here we have copy special and go to the mirror and I click this start point and click this end point and just click here copy and OK. Now you can see the beam is copied and placed. Now press control and tab key in your keyboard. Now you can see 
the beam curved beam is created not a curved beam actually this is we have curved beam other other curved beam we have this is actually poly beam poly beam itself we made curve so this is the way to create beam and poly beam in tecla structure